Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Purple Hyacinth, episode 69 and 70. Due to Webtoon's new policy, I do have to blur 50% of each episode, so if you guys do want to read along with me, it's available on webtoons.com. And for anyone out there who's interested in my early access to all my content for the month of July and soon August, it is available on patreon.com slash CKT Chaotic. Here I will have all the, there will be no blurs and no uncensorship, nothing like that. It, it is straight to the point and you guys have all of it in one go. So if you guys do want to test it out, I do have it for a seven day uh, trial for my tier two and tier three. I'll drop the link in the description box below. Let's go ahead and get started. I got our tickets. Ready to go? <sighs> All right, let's turn some music on. Purple Hyacinth, episode 69. This music is so eerie. Anything new on the woman from the Carmine Camilla? Not much. I've asked around, but no one seems to know who she is. You drew these? They're pretty accurate. Hmm. We have nothing on the woman, but you said the man is named Tim Sake. How exactly do you know him? Uh. That's how I lost my detective rank. That's the long and short of it. Also, I had a little chat with him a few days ago. Days ago. A few days ago? Wait, how? In the streets, I ran into him and we had a talk. But he didn't mention anything about the operation. I didn't know he was part of it then, and he wasn't alone. Someone knocked me out. That's how he slipped through my fingers. You, you were knocked out? No wonder you look like death. Thanks. The concussion is much better now. And you went on running on the Carmine Camilla's rooftop? Reckless idiot. Don't even try. You wouldn't have missed this meeting either. Dear gods, have I met my equal in sub stubbornness? Stubbornness. You didn't say who knocked you out? I can't remember. Be careful. He'll come back for you if he knows you're onto him. I know. All right, let's stick to the plan. You want to join the circus and I'm writing an article about them. Be back in front of the big tent by eight. What do I do if they're so impressed they try to hire me on the spot? Your one time chance to switch career paths. Oh, this is gonna be fun. One thing about me is that I never gone to a circus before and something about it gives me an eerie feeling. So I never ha have a lot of like excitement to go, but, but maybe one day I'll go. Fortune teller. Huh? Maiden of the moon. I've been waiting for you. Moon, no, she can't know about loon. Who are you? I am Hecate, enchantress of the night. I know more about you than you think. I see your past, your present, and your future. You have questions and you are unsure where to look for answers. She must say this to all her clients. Why am I even here? I can see the turmoil in your eyes. You are usually adept at shedding lights on trick trickery, yet you are still completely in the dark. Just generic nonsense. Come and sit with me and I shall enlighten you.
but she sat down. Pick five cards and lay them in front of you. This first card represents your present self. The Two of Swords. You are at the crossroads of two diverging paths. Blindfolded, you cannot see the situation clearly. Falsehoods shadow you. She isn't wrong. The problem is deeply woven with your past. The Five of Cups. I see three have been overturned. Symbolic of disappointment, failures, and loss. Two are still standing by. Standing but. Your self-blame is keeping you from seeing them. You're still unwilling to let go and to forgive. The future, although it appears solid, the tower has been built on an unstable mistruths and, and delusions. The world as you know it will come crashing down before you. Stricken by the lightning bolt of truth, there is no escape from this destruction. Destruction? What is she referring to? This isn't enlightening at all. And then the reason. A betrayal. A painful, unexpected, but inevitable ending. Someone around you has or will stab you in the back. While you cannot change their actions, you have the power over your response to it. The final card. The potential outcome death. Inevitable, but death isn't just about life ending. It's about new beginnings too. The old needs to die for the new to come, be it for better or worse. K With the swords in your hand, you mark the beginning of a new cycle. But they are double-edged blades. They can protect as well as they can destroy. It all depends on the wielder, welder, on the path that you decide to take. You may think your enemies are hidden in the shadows, but he is closer to you, more similar to you than you think, Lauren. You must remove the blindfold. Open your eyes, Lauren. Huh? Huh? You must remove the blindfold. Open your eyes, Lauren. He is closer to you, more similar to you than you think, Lauren. But don't. The final card. Death. Oh. I need to pretend to join the circus. Should it be too hard? Get a chance to win a plushie! Are you able to hit all the moving targets? How many shots we got? You have six darts. Huh, how boring. Uh, how about three knives? No, sir, I don't think that's safe. Oh. Oh, sta, sta, sta. Whoa, you're pretty good. How did you learn to do that? I have some experience with acrobatics. I was actually considering joining your troupe. Oh, then get in line, pretty boy. Our auditions are next month. Oh, how's long's the line? We have people from all over the country and beyond wanting to join the company. If you want to keep up with the Pantheon, you have to do better than that. The Pantheon? Sounds a little pretentious. They've earned it. They're the elites. Hef Hephaestus? Artemis? Zypher? Those guys. I've worked with them in the past and they're really incredible. They're the closest to the boss. You really have to be exceptional to reach that level. Well, now I'm looking forward to seeing them tonight even more. 
Do you have any other big shows coming up after this carnival? So what's going to happen here? Officer. So what did you find? Oh, not much, unfortunately. You? Some information on the circus and the show on February 17th. It will be held at Viscount Redcliffe's mansion as part of the annual ball that organi he organizes. Apparently, the ticket proceeds all go to charity. Huh? Herman mentioned that a few weeks ago. The Viscount has asked a couple of pre precincts to send in volunteers to work security that night. I assume mostly nobles and wealthy Bur Burgios? Burgioses would be invited. Why would Flemings attend the private reception? He is a wealthy banker. The question is who he's going to meet there. Anyways, let's go. Please turn on sound. It is on. Purple Hyacinth, episode 70. So, it's so dark. I can't see much. <sighs> oh, that's so creepy. Huh? Is there someone? Standing in the middle of the stage? Shh. It's a lady? Huh? Welcome to Circus Royal. And please enjoy the show. Doom. What's happening? Doom. Clang. Clang. Whoa. Oh. Ta-da! Stop. Stop. Stop, stop. Oh. Wow, she just slices blindfold up. Wait, why does he look so familiar? The music changed. Will playing the piano though, now that I think about it. Huh? Wait, that tattoo. Look at her thigh. It's the same on same one I saw on the messenger's wrist at Carmine. The pianist has the same tattoo on his wrist. On to our next number. Where's the voice coming from? That's kind of spooky. Doom. Tamming flames right out of, uh, of deepest pits of hell. Doom. Doom. The mighty fire dancer. It's her. Doom. 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 Hestia. Belladonna, Davenport. What is going on? But so far, everything is so good. All right, guys. Uh, if you guys enjoyed my webtoon reaction slash reading style, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments on how y'all feel about these two episodes. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!